Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It's 3 p.m. on Tuesday. Clearly, I didn't post a video yesterday. Why, you ask? Well, I was recovering from what, if it wasn't food poisoning the night before, it had every outward element of food poisoning. But um bump Yes, I spent the night either, well, let's just say I spent my night in the bathroom doing food poisony things or laying on the floor moaning in misery. Don't know what the hell happened. Don't know what it was that I ate that caused it. Doesn't matter. It happened and it was awful. So I felt like a pack of dried suckers yesterday after all that. And I had my call yesterday, my, my last team call, technically, theoretically, for, for my old job. And then I was out to lunch with a friend who came in town and spent some time with her. And then I spent the rest of the day doing kind of day job shit half acidly because I didn't feel well. Feeling much better today. I had all my calls this morning for the week. I got them done and out of the way. And now I am, well, I have just gotten bean for the queen and I, and then I'm going to go home bleh, and do more day job stuff because I need to get stuff done. It's going to be that way for the rest of this quarter. Even though I'm kind of floating between two teams, I'm floating between two teams and there's a lot to do for both. So I'm going to be busy and you're not going to get a video every day. That's what I was building up to. I kept telling you that once I, once this came through that I probably wouldn't be posting every day, that reality is, is here and I'm, I'm just going to be too busy to try to sandwich all of that shit in, in a single day without getting annoyed and then getting not necessarily resentful, but getting spiteful and just like, fuck it, I'm not, I'm not posting again, or I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that. You know, I just, I, no, I'm not doing it. And I don't want to feel that way. So here we are. All right, it is though a gorgeous day out. It's 69 degrees, giggity, and it's sunny and it's nice. And I absolutely do not want to be inside doing day job shit. So I at least wanted to get out and, you know, grab some bean and, and be outside. I got my camera strap in today, but I'm not, I don't have it with me. So I'll show you that in the next segment. It's pretty cool. Uh, it does have quick releases on it, which I didn't realize that it had. So I was able to put those on. And now if I don't want to have the strap on there, I don't have to have the strap on there, which I always like. So I got that in today. I also got a replacement charger for my Meepo Voyager electric skateboard. Uh, like I had said the first time I charged it, it got like burning to the touch hot. And that freaked me out because there's no way that I was going to have that sitting on the carpet in my office. So that's why I set up the whole station downstairs in the garage so that it's going to be sitting on concrete, you know, and away from anything that could catch on fire if it did not indeed catch on fire. And apparently it was an issue. So they just sent everybody that bought one a new charger. But I have been kind of tagged on a, on a back and forth email. People are saying it's just the same charger. It has the same problem. It still gets too hot. Don't know, don't care. It means I have two chargers now. One for home and one when I go on the road. I just have to be mindful that when I'm charging it, it's going to get hot as hell and I'm not going to put it on something that it could burst into flames and burn the place down wherever I am. So I'm also very leery of doing that anyways. I don't charge anything and then leave the house. Not even a simple little camera battery in my little charging station. Nothing gets charged unless I'm there. So even if I'm charging, I'll be in a hotel room, it'll be plugged in and I'll be two feet away from it. So that's that. But again, I've got two chargers now. Pardon the interruption, but that was my new boss calling and we had a bunch of stuff to discuss. I'm very excited about this switch and it turns out I'm not gonna be playing double duty as, as long as I thought I was. And that's a good thing. But it also means that I got a lot of shit to do for the next few weeks. Nothing short of what I expected in the first place. Yeah, got that to look forward to. Otherwise, it is just a wonderful day out. I mean, it's 68 degrees, so it's not like super warm, but it's not cold either. It's actually quite pleasant in the sun. And I've just sort of been driving around doing a bunch of shit and, and then being on the phone. So now, finally, it's a little bit after four. I'm on my way home, even though I'm still waiting for yet another package to be delivered, and it wasn't. So I'll have to go back again, but it's nothing pressing. I just got new insoles for my boots. 
I'm gonna go home now and I'm gonna do day job stuff. Now I'm a little bit behind because I had planned on being home like over an hour ago and I should have already been done with day job stuff. So I have set a personal goal attainment of doing the task that I said I was going to do and I'm going to sit there until I get that task done. And if I sit there and I don't distract myself with a bunch of other shit, I should be able to do it in under a half an hour. And that's the goal. So let's see if I can get that done. I'm gonna give myself an hour though, because I know how I am. But I will be done by five o'clock. And that'll be that. Well, let's go home, finish the damn day job task, and be done with it for the day. And now the rest of the week, now that I have a timeline, I've been given a timeline, now I know how tight my sphincter should be for doing all of this stuff. And, and actually, I'm joking, it's not gonna be, it's gonna actually be a nice, easy transition. So I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna get this shit done, and then the rest of the week, it'd be nice. Nice and easy. So let's go do it. It's like 25 to eight now, a little bit late start. Here's what happened, real quick. I sat down to do the day job stuff, which was to send out every email to the individual dealers that I was going to send an email to after I had created the email and created a spreadsheet so that I could get the information where it needed to go and out to the dealer. Problem is, is that I needed to put attachments on the email. When I sent the first one, I just put all 15 attachments in and they were pretty big. It ended up being a pretty big email. The second email I sent, I did a zip file of those particular attachments and the zip file didn't make it any smaller. So it got kicked back to me. Once I figured out why it got kicked back to me, because it was too big, I was like, well, shit, now I have to I have to figure out how the hell to do this. Problem is, is that I don't really have that ability on my work computer. So naturally I have to do everything on my personal shit. So I thought, okay, how can I make the zip file smaller? That became a gigantic pain in the ass. So I ended up just going to Adobe online where I have an account and I in mass made every one of the PDFs smaller. And then I attached those into a folder and then I zipped the folder and it ended up being like two megabytes instead of 20 something when I did it the first time. So that took me a lot longer. So I didn't hit my five o'clock deadline, it did not even anywhere near it. In fact, I didn't finish it until just a little bit after six. Then at that point, I was able to go to the UPS store to pick up a package. And then while I was out, I went and got us dinner. So it's been a whirlwind tour, but the email has been sent out dinner has been finished and now all I'm going to do is finish this video. So I did promise you earlier that I was going to show you my new camera strap. So here it is. It's obviously my speed of strap with the skulls and the roses and everything. Skull, roses. Eh? Are you catching a theme with me in the skulls and all that kind of stuff? So I got that and the reason that I really really like this is because of this quick release here. I didn't realize that it was going to come with that and uh, I was gonna get some and put them on myself, but now I don't have to because it's already there. So yep, new strap for my camera. Now, the other thing that I just found out and I'm pretty disappointed in, MPB is letting me down again. They sent me tracking information yesterday and I thought that meant that it was going to actually follow what it said, which was the lens was going to be delivered tomorrow. Well, now it's they didn't stop the, the first lens that I didn't want in time and it got shipped. So now I'm gonna have to go through the rigmarole of getting an RMA and sending it back and waiting for them to get it and have them refund me and all that bullshit. But in the meantime, I bought the, the other lens that I actually wanted and they both came to me at the same time with the email saying that they were shipping by FedEx and that they'd be here tomorrow. And I was like, oh, sweet. I'll have it tomorrow. Well, I just checked the freaking tracking and now it shows Thursday. So somehow it didn't get picked up or whatever. And then the one that I'm actually waiting for, the one that I actually want, apparently the label was unreadable and it got kicked back and they had to put another label on it. So that was an exception. Fortunately, as it stands right now, knock on wood, it doesn't show that it's gonna be delayed anymore. But still, now I'm not getting them till Thursday and I thought I was getting the lens tomorrow and I was looking forward to going out and playing. Not playing with my new lens tomorrow. I'll have to wait until Thursday and it better be here on Thursday. So really not much going on today. Everything was about day job or driving around and doing other shit, which was fairly boring, which is why I didn't really take you with me. So that's pretty much it though, because I am going to wind down now, finish this video and get it posted and go downstairs and have some tea and a donut. I am kind of over the donuts already because I should have never bought so many, but we've decided that we aren't gonna eat a donut 
a whole donut each, we're just going to cut it in half and have that because, oh my God. So that's it. That's all you get for today. I'll try to make things a little bit more exciting tomorrow because I don't have as much day job shit to do. Like I don't have calls all morning and then have the rest of the afternoon to do shit. So I don't know. I, I don't even know what the weather's going to be like, but uh, we'll go out and do something fun, right? Okay. So that's it. That's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.